Hi guys, I'm Chris Wilson, and this is the Helpful Home Service Guy series. Hey guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about ductwork, airflow, and temperature discrepancies that you may have in your home. Today we're in a house that's a, basically a center hall colonial, two-story house, attic above and basement below. Here we have our ductwork uh, that's feeding both the first floor and the second floor. A lot of times in these houses, you get a second floor that's much warmer than the first floor. And that's in part because the air going to the first floor is able to cool the first floor much quicker than it is to the air that's going to the second far, floor that has to travel twice as far. Our thermostat's also working against us because it's on the first floor. First floor satisfies very quickly. Second floor never runs long enough to actually cool down to a temperature that's comfortable. So one of the things that we can take a look at is do we have dampers on each of the ducts? Can we slow the air to the first floor a little bit to actually bring that temperature discrepancy closer together so that you create a little bit more comfort on the second floor. So guys, the next part of that conversation when we're looking at a house is, number one, do you have dampers, right? Can we get to them? Or if you don't have them, can we install them? In this case, this house has about a third of its ductwork exposed. We can get to some of the uh, takeoffs and some of these spots where we might install dampers. On this side of the house, the other two thirds, unfortunately, is a fully drywalled ceiling. There's nothing we're gonna do, right? We're gonna create a mess if we start poking holes and trying to install dampers. This is probably a good candidate where we might talk about adding a supplemental system either to the attic or maybe even mini splits to the second floor to create comfort.